everybody. So I know a lot of you are sat uh, at home, at the desks, working very hard. Um, some for sort of really extended periods of time, whereby before, you know, if you were in an office, A, they'd be travelled to and from work, there would also be, uh, you know, a, a definite break, break times and getting up and moving around. And I know some of you who are working from home are really working hard at that desk and you're staying seated, postures, uh, for extended period of time. And so the question has been sort of put to me, what, what can I do for that kind of mid, mid to upper back area? You know, you're sat for a long period of time, the body's kind of get tired of deep, so it's slumping, it's kind of natural thing to happen. So there is a couple of things that you can try, by all means. A uh, previous post I did where it was just laying down flat. Because ultimately what we want to do is look at the posture you're spending more time in and then go away from that as much as possible. So have a look at that video where we just talk about laying flat or laying on a foam roller to lengthen the spine. But then a uh, really nice simple process that you can have a go at. Come down onto the floor, on your forearm, the, heart, the hand is open and on the ground. And then from here, all I'm, all I'm doing is literally just allowing my spine to rest in this uh, curved position. Which is obviously, this is opposing the seated posture. Hopefully you don't sit like this, this would be weird. And so we just, just let the body kind of rest in this position. You can give the hips a little bit of a uh, wriggle because you might the spine might feel quite stiff here. So you can just give the hips a little wriggle. Um, you can draw the head backwards. So not cranking to look up because that can crank on the neck. But you're actually just drawing the head kind of away and then back down. You can roll the shoulders a little bit. So you push one shoulder forwards, you pull the other shoulder back, and you just play the sort of start the, an exaggerated kind of crawl pattern, but without the crawl. And you're just working those shoulders, working the shoulder blades, working between the shoulders. You can draw that head back in again. I can go from that position, come back down, just relax. Some of you may find that actually just coming here, the back is so stiff, it doesn't even like here. So if it doesn't like here, then just, you know, just progress your way into it. So maybe you just have to start even flatter. And then, you know, from this position, I can, I can just push into the ground a little bit with my arms, draw the head away from the floor, and then I can relax again. Again, you know, if you feel like your lower back is a bit stiff, just give the hips a little wriggle. Come on up. If I extend outwards, then I can just kind of walk my way back, but I don't want to force my body into any of these positions. I just want to gently go into it. You know, can I get to a position where I'm just quite comfy? And so my body's happy in this extended position. Give some of these movements uh, a little go. See how you get on, see if you can Bring some life back into that spine. And stay healthy. Give yourself, give yourself some time away from the desk during the day. Get up, walk around, lay down, do some mobilizations. It doesn't need to be very long. You know, a few minutes is enough. Um, and it will give you a little bit of a mental break just to lay down on the floor and think about what your, what your body's doing. Obviously, stay hydrated. Go easy on the teas and coffees, and if you're having a tea or a coffee, follow it with a glass of water. It's good for you, it's healthy for you. Um, so yeah, give that a go. And so until next time, my good friends,